Today, I'm excited to announce an entirely new AR platform with a revolutionary new product. Apple's mixed reality headset is for real. Now, if the iPhone defined the Steve Jobs era at Apple, Tim Cook has finally announced the product that will set the tone for Apple's hardware division for the next 10 years. Now, Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference kicked off last night with a first look at a product that has been years in the making, the Apple Vision Pro. It's the company's first AR VR headset and it can seamlessly blend the real and digital world. The $3,499 headset might look like a conventional VR headset form factor, but what's underneath is essentially a full-fledged computer powering extended reality experiences that go far beyond anything we have seen so far. So Apple is touting that it has developed an entire new operating system that brings up icons in the air when in AR mode. Now the headset can also run iPhone and iPad apps or let you watch movies on an immersive large screen. Vision Pro can make a digital scan of your face and project in artificial reality for video calls. Apple also announced partnerships with a series of third-party developers including Disney to bring a large suite of entertainment productivity apps at launch. Now at home, you can enjoy Disney's latest movies and TV shows on the largest screen possible. While at work, you can throw up as many Excel sheets as you want. Apple even showcased a virtual DJ deck if you fancy yourself as a music producer. To ensure that users are not isolated from their surroundings while using Vision Pro headset, a new feature called EyeSight projects the user's eyes and upper face to the outer shell of the Vision Pro headset. So when in the full VR mode, the screen blanks out and indicates that the user is fully immersed in content. Okay, now the form factor of the Apple Vision Pro integrates a series of 12 cameras, infrared and LiDAR sensors, now the AR experiences are powered by dual 4K displays and an M2 processor paired up with a brand new R1 chip. Up at the top, a dial lets you veer in and out of augmented and virtual reality. There are no controllers or peripherals to be found here and the Vision Pro is capable of detecting your hands and follow gestures. Bluetooth accessories like Apple's Magic Trackpad and Magic Keyboard can be easily paired up with the Vision Pro and you can use a Mac even to further extend the display to the headset. The headset distinguishes itself from alternatives by having a detachable battery that users are expected to slip into their pocket. Ahead of Apple's announcement, Mark Zuckerberg preemptively announced the Meta Quest 3, a similarly standalone VR headset that will retail for a significantly lower $500 price point. However, unlike the Apple Vision Pro, the Meta Quest 3 is powered by a smartphone-grade Qualcomm chipset, has significantly lower resolution displays and a much smaller number of external sensors. However, the Meta Quest 3 does include external controllers that might make it a better option for gamers. The Apple Vision Pro will go on sale in the US sometime next year with other countries to follow. No plans have been revealed for an India launch yet. While there's a long time to go before we get a retail release of the product, it's pretty clear that Apple sees the Vision Pro as the future of its computing line. It builds on the foundation of the Apple's M-series, silicon powering its new laptops, the increasingly confluence between Apple's laptop and iPad software, and a focus on next generation experiences. However, at a price point that exceeds companies' high-end laptops and use cases that are so far, extensions of just replacing a large screen, it remains to be seen if the company will be able to turn this vision into reality. To know more about what has Apple unveiled at its big event, WWDC, keep following Money Control.